Hi, these are the trigonometry lectures for educator.com and today we're going to talk about trigonometry in triangles that have a right angle. So those are called right triangles. And the master formula for right triangles, that we've seen it before, is SOHCAHTOA. So that's the word that I remember to know that the sine of theta, let me draw a right triangle here, If theta is one of the small angles, not the right angle, then the sine of theta is equal to the length of the opposite side over the hypotenuse, over the length of the hypotenuse. Cosine of theta is equal to the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. And the tangent of theta is equal to the opposite side over the adjacent side. So for shorthand, Sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. Tangent is equal to opposite over adjacent. It's probably worth saying SOHCAHTOA often enough until it sticks in your memory because it really is useful for remembering these things. Um, if you have a hard time remembering that, the little mnemonic that is also helpful for some students is some old horse caught another horse taking oats away because that spells out SOHCAHTOA for you. So one key thing to remember here is that SOHCAHTOA only works in right triangles. You have to have one angle being a right angle. If you have a triangle that is not a right triangle, so if you don't have a right angle, don't use SOHCAHTOA because it's not valid in triangles that don't have right angles. Um, so that's if you have no right angle. We're going to learn in the next lectures on educator.com, we'll learn about the law of sines and the law of cosines. And those work in any triangle uh, where you don't need a right angle. But when you have a right angle, it's definitely easier and better and quicker to use SOHCAHTOA. So let's try that out with some actual triangles. So in the first example, there, we have a right triangle with short sides of length 3 and 4. And we want to find all the angles in the triangle. So let me draw a triangle here. And we're told that the short sides have length 3 and 4. Of course, one angle is a right angle, so I don't need to worry about that. And I'll call these angles theta. And I'll call this one phi. Um, first thing we're going to need to know is what the hypotenuse of this triangle is. So h squared is equal to 3 squared plus 4 squared, Pythagorean theorem there, which is 9 plus 16, which is 25. So h is the square root of 25. h is 5. So let me draw that in there. And now I want to figure out what, si what uh, theta and phi are. So I'm going to use SOHCAHTOA. Let me write that down there for reference, SOHCAHTOA. And I'm going to figure out what theta is by using the so part of SOHCAHTOA. So sine of theta is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. So that's the opposite angle to theta is 3, and the hypotenuse is 5. So theta is equal to arc sine of 3 fifths. Now, I'm going to work that out on the calculator. My calculator has an arc sine button. It actually writes it as uh, sine to the negative 1, which I don't like that notation because it looks, makes it seem like it's a power. But in any case, I'm going to use our, uh, sine, inverse sine of 3 fifths. But there's a very important step here that many students get confused about which is that if you're looking for an answer in terms of degrees, which in real world measurement, it's sometimes easier to use degrees than radians, um, you have to set your calculator to degree mode. Uh, most calculators have a degree mode and a radian mode. In fact, all calculators that do trigonometric functions have a degree mode and a radian mode. And the default is probably radian mode. So, if your calculator is set in radian mode and you try to do something like arc sine of 3 fifths, you'll get an answer that doesn't look right. 
and you may be confused. If you're checking your answer somewhere, it may not agree with, with what the correct answer is. So what you have to do is set up your calculator in, radi in, sorry, in degree mode if you want an answer in degrees. My calculator is a Texas Instruments. It's got a mode button, and I just scroll down, and it says rad and deg to convert it from radians to degrees. So I'm going to convert it into degree mode, and then I'll get an answer in terms of degrees. Um, that's a step that many students forget, and they get kind of confused when they get an answer, which is in terms of radians, but it doesn't agree with the degree answer they were looking for. So now I've got my calculator set in degree mode. I'll do the arc sine of 3 fifths, which is 0.6. And it tells me that that is approximately equal to 36.9 degrees. So I found one of the angles in the triangle. Of course, another one is a right angle, so it's 90 degrees. Um, for phi, I think for phi, I'm going to practice the cosine part of Sokotoa. So I know that cosine of phi is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. But that's the adjacent angle to f the adjacent side to phi. And so phi is over here. Its adjacent side is 3. Hypotenuse is still 5. So phi is equal to arc cosine of 3 fifths. Again, I'll do that on my calculator. And the calculator tells me that that's 53.1 degrees, approximately equal to 53.1 degrees. Now there's a little check here you can do to make sure that you work these out correctly. Uh, we know that the angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So if we check here, 36.9 plus 53.1 plus the last angle was a 90 degree angle, a right angle. And if you add those up, 36.9 plus 53.1 is 90, so plus 90, you get 180 degrees. So that tells me that my answers are right. So the key formula here to remember is Sokotoa. Everything comes down to drawing the angles in the triangle and then just using sine equals uh, opposite over hypotenuse, cosine equals adjacent over hypotenuse, tangent equals opposite over adjacent. So now we're given a right triangle, and we're told that one angle measures 40 degrees. So let me call that angle right here. Let's that be 40 degrees. It op the opposite side has length 6. And so I want to find the lengths of all the sides in the triangles. Of course, Finding the angles is, is no big deal because I know that one side's a right angle. We're told that it's a right triangle. And I can find the other uh, angle just by subtracting from 180. In fact, 180 minus 40 is 40 minus 90 is, sorry, 180 minus 40 is 140 minus 90 is 50. So I know that that other angle is 50. The challenge here is to find the lengths. And again, we're going to use Sokotoa. So I'm going to apply Sokotoa to 40. I know that sine of 40 is equal to 6 over the hypotenuse, because that's opposite over hypotenuse. And so the hypotenuse, if I solve this, uh, that's equal to 6 over sine 40. And remember to convert your calculator to degree mode before you do this kind of calculation. 6 divided by sine of 40 is equal to, or approximately equal to, 9.3. So that tells us the length of the hypotenuse, 9.3. And now I'd like to find the length of the other side. So I'm going to use the cosine part of Sokotoa. I know that cosine of 40 is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse. And so if I solve that for the adjacent side, that's equal to hypotenuse times the cosine of 40. I know the hypotenuse now. Um, so if I multiply that 
by cosine of 40, what I get is approximately 7.2 for my adjacent side. And so the sides of my triangle are 6, 7.2, and 9.3. And again, there's an easy way to check that. We'll check that using the Pythagorean theorem. I want to check that 6 squared plus 7.2 squared plus 7.2 squared gives me 87.8, which is approximately equal to 9.3 squared. So I know that I got those side lengths right. For the third example here, we have the lengths of the two short sides of a right triangle are in a 5 to 2 ratio. So let me draw that out. We're given that it's a right triangle. We've got lengths in a 5 to 2 ratio. Now, I don't actually know that these lengths are 5 and 2, but here's the thing. If I uh, expand this triangle proportionately, it won't change the angles. So if I blow this up to a similar triangle that actually has uh, side lengths of 5 and 2, I'll get a similar triangle with, with the same angles. So I can just assume that this triangle actually has side lengths of 5 and 2. And then I want to find all the angles in the triangle. So I'll label that one as theta. That one is phi. I know that sooner or later I'm going to need the hypotenuse of the triangle. So I'll go ahead and find that now. h squared is equal to 2 squared plus 5 squared. And that's equal to 4 plus 25 which is 29. So my hypotenuse is the square root of 29. Now I'd like to practice all parts of SOHCAHTOA and we've used sine and cosine in the previous problems. So I'm going to use the tangent part. Remember tangent is opposite over adjacent. So tangent of theta there, the opposite side is 5, and the adjacent side has length 2. So I'm going to find arctangent of 5 halves. Theta is arctangent of 5 halves. Again, remember that you want to have your calculator in degree mode here, because if you have your calculator in radian mode, um, you'll get an answer in radians, which will look very different from any answer in degrees that you were expecting. So I calculate arctangent of 5 halves, and it tells me that that is approximately equal to 68.2 degrees. So now I've found theta. Uh, I've got to find phi now. I could find phi just by subtracting theta from 90 degrees, because I know theta plus phi add to 90 degrees. Remember, one angle of the triangle is already 90 degrees, and so the other two must add up to 90 degrees. So I could just find the other angle by subtracting, but I want to avoid that. I want to practice using my SOHCAHTOA rules, and the other reason is if I find it using some other method, then I can add them together at the end and use that to check my work. So I'm going to try uh, using a SOHCAHTOA rule I'm going to find it using angle phi. So looking at phi, I know that sine of phi is equal to the opposite over adjacent, oh, sorry, opposite over hypotenuse. Sine of phi is equal to the opposite over hypotenuse. Well, the opposite side to phi is 2. And the hypotenuse is the square root of 29. So phi is equal to the arc sine of 2 over the square root of 29. And that's definitely something I want to put into my calculator. So I'll figure out inverse sine of 2 divided by 
the square root of 29. The inverse sine of 2 divided by the square root of 29. And it tells me that that's approximately equal to 21.8 degrees. So that's what I got using SOHCAHTOA. But again, I'm going to check it by checking that the three angles of this triangle add up to 180 degrees. So I've got 68.2 degrees plus 21.8 degrees. Those add up to 90 plus the last 90 degree angle, the right angle, and those do add up to 180 degrees. And so that tells me that my work must probably be right. So again, that came back to looking at SOHCAHTOA and figuring out what the angles were based on the SOHCAHTOA. We know that tangent is opposite over adjacent, and we also use that sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So we'll try some more examples later.